Hey guys, Little Geek of Productions here, and in today's video, we're going to talk about the Anchor Wireless Vertical Mouse and how it's saving my filmmaking career. Now, really quick before we start, I want to tell you guys something. If you click that red subscribe button down there, not only will you get to see the videos that I post on Tuesdays and Fridays, but also you will receive a crisp high five. So be sure to click that button. All right, so here is the mouse. Obviously, this is some funky stuff right here. Like, have you ever seen a computer mouse that looks like this before now? Probably not. Now, I have a few reasons why I got this mouse and why I think you should definitely consider it as well. So basically the point of this mouse is that it gets your hand from this position to this position. Uh, so now when you move your wrist, you're moving your wrist side to side, or I guess you're moving your wrist like this and not like this. Apparently, research says that this is a bad movement and will cause issues. And I've been experiencing a lot of pain from video editing because my mom actually has carpal tunnel. So I'm genetically more susceptible to it, I guess. I don't know. But if I'm editing for a long time, I'll start to feel pains right in my, in my carpals? Sure. I'll start to feel pain in my wrists, and also this finger will kind of lock up, and I can't, it, like, it, 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 it's weird, it's bad. To prevent that, I bought this mouse, and I haven't had a problem with my finger locking since. But it's definitely, it was definitely an adjustment to get used to it, but it has saved my wrists. Now, not only do I use this, but I also wear braces when I know that I'm gonna be editing for a long time. You can get these at like Walgreens, CVS, wherever you live, you know, that type of store, probably even Walmart. And it's just a little wrist brace. I wear them on both wrists and it just gives you that extra support so that you're not ruining and destroying your wrists when you spend six hours editing. Really quick guys, leave a comment down below. Would you ever use a mouse like this or do you think that is just crazy and weird? Let me know in the comments below. I'm really curious. Now the mouse itself, if I were to just review it, is honestly, it's not the greatest mouse I've ever used, but it's it's unique, which is why I, I, I need it. Um, it's This one was very cheap. I'm sure you, you, you can get a type of mouse that's a vertical mouse that's worth a lot more money that will be a nicer mouse. This one I believe was like $13 on Amazon. Uh, there'll be a link down in the description, I guess, if you wanna get it. And it's it, it does the job. Uh, I can move it and it works. I click and it clicks. One problem is, and maybe my hands are small or something, but it's hard to, to kind of click. You have to, because normally when you click a mouse, you just click, right? But this, you kind of have to squeeze it because of the, the angle that you're at. You kind of have to squeeze with your thumb to get enough pressure to actually click it. And uh, I find that it's easier to click at the end than it is back here. And my finger kind of ends up lying pretty close to the end, but if I were to be able to reach here, it clicks way easier. But the scroll wheel works. Um, everything, everything works. So for $13, for it to save me from having to have carpal tunnel, having to have surgery and potentially, you know, destroying my wrists, it's definitely worth it. So, so if you guys ever are experiencing any type of pain when you're editing, that's really, really bad and you can do permanent damage. So make sure that you guys are either taking breaks and you know not editing for super, super long and just putting strain on yourself or you're getting some sort of way to help, whether it be a, a wrist brace or an ergonomic mouse. So overall guys, I think more than reviewing the mouse, I just wanted to talk about how carpal tunnel and wrist issues is a big issue for filmmakers and you guys should really be aware of it. Um, if you're feeling wrist pains, do something about it. Don't just ignore it because you will cause damage. So this was my solution to my problem and it has worked. I have not had any issues with my finger since I switched to that mouse, which is amazing because it was really, really painful. Now make sure to hit the subscribe button so you can see all my videos and get that crisp high five and uh, click the notification bell icon so that you don't miss anything. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.